Dr. Sohan Raj Tate, Upasak and former Vice Chancellor, Singhania University, Rajasthan. Professor Dr. Sohan Raj Tate, we welcome you, sir. I bow to the pious land of knowledge, and this dome is remitting the rage of compassion. and peace-living society message to whole of the world. Today, we are, our main motto is to build up a society which is peace-loving and peace-living both. Because when peace-loving will not be there, there can't be peace-living. So within 10 minutes, I am to take the role model of Mahatma Gandhi. It's very, very difficult to define but I will try to assim assimilate ocean in the drop. So today, government of India has declared not only Mahatma Gandhi 150, but Ba Bapu 150. If Ba was not there, Mahatma Gandhi would have not been the Mahatma. So we should also tell about her also. Mahatma Gandhi's main tools were of the non-violence and truth. What is non-violence? As per Mahatma Gandhi, non-violence is to accept the existence of every human being. If you don't accept the existence of your fellow, that means you are ignoring your existence. So we should try to accept the existence of others, not of the human being, of every living being and the case of the land violence is it is good for all it is good for human being and good for every human living being and Mahatma Gandhi has taken the non-violence and the truth as a tools to liberate India and to establish a peaceful society that is why today whole world is celebrating the today's this Ahinsa, Antarashtri Ahinsa Divas. That means what it indicates that whole the world is accepting Mahatma Gandhi as a role model of building a peaceful society. So in the only tips form, I, can, I will give you the things which Mahatma has done to build up a peaceful global society. One thing, the main thing Mahatma Gandhi was a divine personality. There was no difference at all between his doing and saying. What he used to do, first he has to think, and then whatever he says, first he does and then he says. Another thing he used to say, truth is God, God is truth. He has not accepted any sect. That means he has accepted the spirit of interfaith religion, Sarva Dharma Sambhav. In his eyes, every religion was respectable. Every God was respectable. There was no anything difference in his mind. Another thing, he has always tried for the Sarvoday. That means upliftment of every Indian people, every global people, every global person should give the chance to rise, he should have the basic facilities to live. Today, what is happening, that's why we are all, all the three days we will talk of establishing or this dome and all these our gods and god legendaries, what they are telling, what they are worried for. Because today, man has become violent. This violence starts from the mind. The mind of a man has full up with the negativity. So as per Mahatma Gandhi, what we are to do is to provoke this, his total, this negative thinking, to remove negative thinking is from mind. That means we are to re-establish the mindset of the human being. Today, as we see, today we have talked of the atom bombs, 
whole of the world, there are so many atom bombs that the seven Earth population can be destroyed within seven minutes only. So that can the spoiling that, destroying that is the solution, is the non-violence. With all non-violence, give respect to everybody. Give a respect to every human being and it believes in the peaceful coexistence. Till we will not have the mentality of the peaceful existence, compassion and respect to others, we can't build up a good of the society. Another thing, he always talked that the mass production is being done by the few machines. No, it should be done by the many hands also because it will give the opportunity of the earning and the problems of the virozgari that will be solved. His all the ideas were practical because he was a man to listen the voice of his inner voice. He used to give more importance to the prayer, to the God. That means he wants that a man should first improve his inner soul. First he improve his inner world because from where the war comes, the war comes, comes from the inner mind. When any, any powerful mind he thinks of the doing the war, then war is being imposed on the society. So mindset is to be changed. Today, if we want to build up a good society, taking Mahatma Gandhi as a role model, then we should try to have the interaction. And what type of the interaction? Interfaith. We should have respect to every religion. We should have respect to every ideologies because today we are living in the world of globalization, privatization, and liberalization. Our ancient rishis and maharishis, they have established Vasudev Kutumbkam. What is this that? Vasudev Kutumbkam accept the coexistence, peaceful coexistence, every human being, whosoever take birth on this nature, he wants the pleasure. Nobody wants the miseries. Then, what is our, why should I give the miseries to the others? So, basic fundamental mistake with us that our mentality has been spoiled. We are supposed to do it. So, what is happening nowadays? Now, another example I am giving you. International Yoga Day, we have celebrated third International Yoga Day to which I am also connected. Our Prime Minister gave the philosophy of our country to the whole world of 210 countries that yoga took birth in our country. Our Rishi Maharshi have lived the life. Their lifestyle was yogic lifestyle. And with that yogic lifestyle, everybody can happiness. Everybody can have a good health. Everybody can have positive thinking. And everybody can have physical, emotional, and this our spiritual, our social, and all type of the health which WHO tells he can attain it. And we have celebrated third this International Yoga Day on 21st June of what it says that our country was earlier as the word guru and these things are also leading to that side that is still we are the word guru. That means whole world is seeing ourselves towards ourselves. Okay, this is a country in the blood of this country people is the humanity. In the people is the ideology of the Mahatma Gandhi. Is the ideology of compassion. Is the ideology of love and affection. So we should build up such an environment in our country as well as in the whole the globe that we can build up a society. So again I tell you, we people who come on the TV, it's a difficulty for us to narrate something within a very short time, a very big ocean to that assimilate in a one, one drop is very difficult. Anyway, I've tried my level best to do, to give some tips.